All right, so today we are going to cover how to change the Divi blog post. It's usually um, pretty ugly uh, when you add a blog post, it's, it's all the way across. And we want to get these images to show up just to the left here so that there's a left post. And then also we want to create a customized button instead of the read more um, link, that just that traditional blue link like this. We want to turn that into a button. Um, also what's different about this one is I'm not using the themes blog default. Um, so I'm actually going to change the blog post within the, the um, CSS code on a single post so that way on a page when I display the blog I can display it how I want it so uh, that that gives me the option to build hero images and customized uh, footers and I can change um, the content to which I put into this post so all right let's take a look at this we are in the Divi theme um, I am going to go ahead and show you under the um, visual builder here that I've added just a hero image here um, and I've also added um, a, a title and then I've given it um, a, a blog module. So I just pulled in the blog module here. Um, I added 12 posts, put in what I wanted, and then underneath um, the, uh, I want to show the excerpts and, uh, and put the elements in here that I want. So I want to show some of the featured, I want to show the read more button, and so on and so forth. Now under the design, uh, this is where we are going to go full width layout instead of the grid we want to make sure that we're under full width and then we're going to go into the advanced and we want to click on the CSS ID and we're going to add the text single post because that's what I've used for the code um, I use hashtag single post and I only want uh, the button customization and the customization for this entire blog post only to be designated to this blog itself so if I use the blog port anywhere else I may want to customize it different and I may call this a different uh, hashtag here and once you have that, then you're set, ready to go. You can go ahead and save your changes. And then we're going to go up to, uh, up to the edit page, and we want to go ahead and change the uh, theme customizer underneath the, the top here. So now we're going to go theme customizer. And this is where we're going to add our custom CSS for this particular page. And we're going to do it down here at the bottom where it says additional CSS. And then you just go ahead and give a few spaces and then paste the code in to which I gave you. And uh, you'll notice that just for the single post headings, uh, everything changes and moves down here. And as you spread this page out, uh, you'll notice that it all fits very nicely. And as it shrinks together, you're going to see that it fits nice as well. Uh, so what's really nice here is now it doesn't disable any function for changing your header text, your font text, uh, any of this can be customized completely from your Divi Builder and uh, does not change anything there. One thing I will note is you're going to want to go through and restructure all of your images so that your hero image or your featured image is all the same. You can leave your hero image inside different but change all your featured images to change here. So now what's cool about this is that it's only changing the blog module not the actual blog function uh, when you go into theme customizer. And as you look at the code, you can make some modifications here. It's going to start with the first single post. Um, your margin from the bottom, you can change this so that you can um, adjust how far it is from here. Um, I'm also adjusting it so that it floats to the right. Um, and, and so the margin here is what I'm talking about. And then the single post image, you're floating to the left. Uh, and you can float that to the right if you wish. But um, you can really change it however you want. And then also I'm just doing maximum code settings here. But for the button... Um, you're going to see that the button code is all down here. So you can change the padding um, up and above. Uh, if you don't want the letter spacing, you just go ahead and remove this and then it won't expand on you as you're opening that. And then also just the um, paddings around it, uh, you can do that too. Now your border radius, if you don't want a round button and you want to change that to, um, to just so that it doesn't have any roundness to it, you can make it a square button if you want or you can make it a complete circle and add, change this to a 25 and uh, that makes it more of a full round uh, image there as well. So it's really up to you, whatever you prefer. Um, I always like just a simple uh, rounded corner and go from there. You can also change the font size of that button too. Some of us, uh, we change our custom theme is normally a default 14. Uh, I've increased to 18 and so if you see here, uh, if I go to 14, it's going to reduce the size